Draper okay. Law Firm, and we are here with our great friends from Positively Osceola and some of your colleagues and students from New Beginnings to celebrate you. Oh my goodness, I am speechless. <laughs> Oh, That's the idea, though we didn't mean to scare you quite yeah, so much with the confetti. I'm so sorry. To, I may have to go to the nurses' station. <laughs> Miss uh, Porter, uh, my name's Charlie Draper, and I have the privilege of partnering with the school district. Uh, every month, the school district selects a, a featured teacher. That is uh, a teacher who stands head and shoulders above the rest, and uh, so. This month, you were selected, and uh, I know a little bit about you. I know you're a college and career teacher, and you've been here for seven years, but I, I have a confession. I've never heard of New Beginnings, okay? Uh, and we're here we are at the New Beginnings Educational Center. So could you tell me and the, the viewers a little bit about this program? <laughs> <laughs> Kathy usually is not speechless. I know, I know. I mean, this is all taking me by complete surprise. Um, when, I, when I think of new beginnings, I think of the students being able to have an opportunity to make a change. One of, one of the, our class motto, and I've told the students this, is that I will not let my past rob me of my future. So each of these students are here for a reason. And to me, I tell them, it's not what brought you here that's important, but it's what's going to get you out of here. And so as I look at these young people, um, several of them are seniors. And as I told them today that their journey, they might have thought it started 12 years ago, but after tomorrow, it, the real journey will begin. And so New Beginning is a place where students can not allow people to tell them that you don't matter, that you don't have a future. You do have a future at New Beginnings. So New Beginnings is just the, it is, it's just the beginning of a lifetime of wonderful things that will happen in their lives. And I am so proud. Like I told Miss Nina, uh, in, I told Miss Nina that I don't see this as a job. I see it as a calling. I believe I was called here for a purpose. And to be of service to the students, to their families, and to the business community at large. So it's not just um, it's not just checking in, you know, at 7 o'clock, 6.45. Ms. Nina has to run me out of, the, out of the building because a lot of times I stay beyond. And it's not because I have to. It's because I choose to. It's because I want to. It's because I do believe that I make a difference and I can't do it alone. I have to I have my colleagues my administrator who allows me the freedom to do my, my job, to be able to um, be of service to this community at large. So I feel truly blessed to be part of Osceola County School District, um, that you had enough belief in me to allow me to make a difference in the lives of these students. Well, I, I, I don't think there's any question, or shouldn't be any question in anyone's mind that uh, this is truly a, a dedicated and passionate individual. And I did learn something on the way in that I want to share with the viewers and you. My understanding is that out of 54 seniors, 52 are graduating this year. Is that right? Yes. What a success story that is. Yes, that's awesome. And uh, we want to thank you on behalf of the school district and, and the students, right, kids? Uh, and, and the uh, parents of these kids and our, our community. 
for all you do for, for these kids. And uh, I truly am very grateful and uh, learned a lot this morning. So, uh, Dr. Pace? Well, Ms. Porter, I had the opportunity to talk with some of your students as we were getting ready to come and, and surprise you. <laughs> and all three of the graduating seniors that we had an opportunity to talk to have a plan for college and future learning and careers. And that's a direct testimony to your work and your guidance with them. So on behalf of our school board and our school district and our students and our community, we do thank you. We are blessed to have you as a part of the Osceola School District family. So congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> you want to say a few words? Ms. Nina? I just want to, it's hard for, to get any surprises here at the beginning. But I was very uh, pleased and it just was a great feeling that Kathy Porter was going to be spotlighted for May. Please know that her journey continues as our journey continues. Our started over 25 years ago and our paths have crossed many ways and I am just so blessed in more ways than one to have Kathy Porter not only be a member of New Beginnings Educational Center's teaching but also our family. So once again, congratulations. You represent us so well. Now, Ms. Porter. Now Mr. Graper has some really good stuff. Just to, oh. <laughs> just to show our appreciation for everything you do for the students in our community, we have a little plaque that uh, And 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 we really appreciate it. And also, we have a little coffee mug with some goodies in it for you. So that you have a sweet tooth. And we have a uh, Amazon gift card of a hundred dollars, so you can buy school supplies. Okay. Oh wow! Okay. We're going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> and another gift certificate for a restaurant of your choosing. So, again, on behalf of. Uh, the school district and everyone connected with this school, we, we really appreciate all you do and, and thank you. Thank God you bless. Thank you so much. God bless you too. <laughs>